Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to a very interesting project which is called as Q Anything or Question and Answer Based on Anything. It's primarily a local knowledge based question answering system designed to support a wide range of file formats and databases allowing for offline installation and use. With Q Anything, you can simply drop any locally stored file of any format and then receive accurate, fast and reliable answers. The way it works is quite simple. The user from the top sends a query to the large language model. The first retrieval with embedding is done and from the databases and it could be any vector store. And then from there, the chunks are sent to the second retrieval, which re-ranks it. And then the answer is returned after some parsing and other stuff. Now, currently it supports PDF, Word, PPT, Markdown, EML, which is um, also another format in the emails, txt images of various formats like jpg, png and then also web links and there are a lot of other things which they are promising on their github repo is in the pipeline. There are a lot of good things about this for example data security because it uh, supports offline installation you can even after downloading its github repo you can even just unplug its uh, network cable and then use it and it will be uh, it will work fine. It also supports cross language QA support. So you can freely switch between Chinese and English QA regardless of the language of document, which is amazing. So if you have Chinese documents, you can ask questions in English, which is quite amazing. It also supports massive data QA. So because it does two stage retrieval ranking. So, and the reason why it does two stage because it tries to solve the degradation problem of large scale Data retrieval, the more data, the better the performance. And installation is, um, which I'm going to show you shortly. But one thing I uh, wanted to expound upon a bit more is that uh, as why it is doing the two stage retrieval, as you can see that there is a first retrieval and then there is a second retrieval of re-rank. In scenarios with a large volume of knowledge based data, the advantage of a two stage approach, according to them, is that if only a first stage embedding retrieval is used, then there will be a problem of retrieval degradation as the data volume increases. But after the second stage re-ranking, there can be a stable increase in accuracy. The more data, the better the performance. So that is where they think. Okay, now let's go to my local system and let's get it installed. I am using Ubuntu 22.4. As you can see, let me clear my screen. Now, I have only one GPU and I'm just a full disclaimer, I'm connected to internet, but you can, once you have cloned the repo and stuff, you can use it offline. Now, the first step which we need to do is to simply git clone the repo. So run git clone and the URL of the repo, press enter. And that is done already. Now, in order to run it, just cd to that uh, queue anything and now if you have gpu gpu then you would uh, run something like bash run dot sh zero which zero is for the first gpu card and it also have the facility to run it on multi gpu where you would just specify zero comma one two three how many gpus you are uh, but it only supports up to two cards as far as i know so zero and one would work and if you don't have any GPU, simply remove the zero, just run bash space run dot sh. Okay, let me run it. It has started it and it will run it locally on the uh, port 5052. So make sure if you have any behind the firewall, that port is open. First time you run it, it is going to download a lot of things. So let's wait for it to load and stuff. And that seems like quite a big uh, thing. So let's wait for it to download and then we can access it in our browser. And the model size is around 8 uh, gigabyte. So it take bit of a time because first it downloads it, then it decompresses it. And then all it also depends upon your bandwidth. As I said, this happened only the first time the model is loaded. So the objects have been downloaded, deltas have been resolved. So let's see. And it took a long time, by the way, around 10 minutes while I paused the video. So let's see what happens now. 
and I'm not sure which model it is using. I think it would be really beneficial to know. I have looked into their GitHub repo, but couldn't find the exact model. Took around half an hour and then model was downloaded and it seems now it is inflating it, taking long time. So I think one suggestion for the developers when the <coughs> model is downloading, I think it would be a good idea to show some sort of progress so that we won't think that it's not happening. Anyway, so let's wait for it to decompress or inflate. And now it has started pulling some Docker layers and lots and lots of them after the model has been inflated. So let's wait for this one to finish. And if you look at the top, the size is around 1.182 gig. So for the first one that is done, hopefully the rest of them will be done soon. And now after pulling the container, it is now creating them. Seems like MySQL and Milvus at CD local. Okay. Let's wait for it to finish. And eventually uh, this is done and now it is running as you can see above after a long, long time. And it says that the OCR service is ready. The re-rank service is ready. LLM transfer service is ready. And so all of the steps which I showed you in that diagram, all of them are ready. But I guess it is still waiting for npm run install. Because it seems that there are eight things which needs to be ready, I guess. I'm not sure what exactly it says in Chinese, but let's wait for it to see what happens. Okay, so at, le at last the installation is done after a long, long wait and stuff. And let me take you to the browser. So this is the interface which it is showing me and it loads in Chinese. I'm not sure what it says here, but it seems like we can upload file here. And because it's mentioned some of the TXT PDF file and then we can maybe talk with it. And then what exactly this is, let me try to load a file. So it says no file chosen. Let me just select a file. So I am going to select maybe a PDF file. This is just an Oracle documentation. I'll just click this. And what does this is? I have no idea. Let me try to translate it. So I clicked on the file and it has opened up this window in because I'm just trying to select this. It seems that I can chat with it. Maybe I'll just type it in English, but the topic of the file, let's see what it does. Okay, so I'm not sure what exactly the error is. Let me try to translate it in English. Okay guys, I have been trying to get it uh, translated into English, but I'm not sure what exactly this means. Uh, my browser is not translating it. So, but you can see that it got installed and it is letting us upload some of the files. So it seems this is upload button. I'm not sure what exactly is this, but anyway, so get it installed. And if you are from the Chinese background, please uh, maybe try to explain what it says in the comments it will be very helpful to know. And it would be good to, maybe if it's a bilingual, would be good to get some maybe translator here so that it will be easy to use for everyone. Anyway, but good tool, maybe uh, documentation, a clearer documentation would help a lot. Thanks for watching. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network. Thanks for watching.